Good day, Grade 3 Scientists! Welcome to our lessons for Science 3, Quarter 1, Week 5. Our topic today is Materials and their uses Changes in thrown materials Learning Objectives Describe the changes that happen in materials when they are thrown away. Activating prior knowledge Look at the picture. Here is an example of a junk shop. It is a place where some old materials from the community are dumped and sorted. Let's answer the following question. Which object in the junkyard is hard and made of glass? A. Old utensils B. Used glass bottles C. Plastic bags D. Tin cans Number 2. Which object in the junk shop is hard and used in vehicles? A. Old tires B. Empty tin cans C. Plastic bags or D. Used glass bottles Number 3. Which object in the junk shop is shiny and used for storing food or drinks? A. Old tires B. Empty tin cans C. Plastic bags D. Used glass bottles For number 4, which object in the junk shop is shiny and used for eating? A. Plastic bags B. Old utensils C. Old tires D. Used glass bottles And for number 5, which object in the junk shop is stretchable and used for carrying items? A. Used glass bottles B. Plastic bags C. Old utensils or D. Empty tin cans Here are the answers Lesson Language Practice Have you ever heard the term throw away before? Where have you heard it? What things have you thrown away before? Throw away means to dispose of. Dispose of means to throw something away or to get rid of something properly. Example, we dispose of trash by putting it in the garbage bin. Reading the key idea stem. Activity 1. What changes happen to materials when they are disposed of? Here are the materials that we're going to use. Let's proceed to procedure. Step 1. Wear a face mask and a pair of gloves before the start of the activity. Step 2. Copy the table below onto manila paper. Step 3. Observe each of the given materials assigned to your group. Record your observations on the table in your science notebook. Step 4. Wash your hands properly after the activity. For group 1, observe any change in notebook, paper, and cupboard. For group 2, observe any change in the plastic bag and plastic juice pack. Group 3, observe any change in the banana peel and slice of bread. For group 4, observe any changes in soda cans and glass bottle. After doing the activity, let's proceed in answering these questions. Number 1. Did the materials assigned to your group change a lot after they were disposed of? Number 2. In what ways did the materials change? Number 3. What change is common to the materials you observe in that activity? For developing understanding of the key idea stem, Okay, now you will going to present your work. The expected responses to the guide questions are Number 1. The changes depend on the materials each group was given. 
food, leftovers, and vapor waste will change a lot. Plastic and glass waste won't change as much. Number 2. All of the materials are expected to become dirty and smelly. Food leftovers will likely spoil and smell bad, and bread might grow mold. Paper waste might be torn, crumpled, or wet. Plastic waste like juice cartons and plastic bags might get dirty, but won't change much. Soda cans might get crumpled and soda bottles might break. For number 3, all the materials will look dirty and smell bad. Deepening understanding of the key idea or STEM. Let's process the activity. We throw things away when we don't need them anymore. But if we don't throw them away properly, they mix with other trash. As you saw in the activity, different materials change in different ways when we throw them away. Now, let's look at the tables made by each group and answer what did you notice about how the materials change. Which materials change a lot after they were disposed of? Let's refer to your outputs. Some material change a lot after they were thrown away in the garbage. Food leftovers such as banana peel and bread slice change in color and smell. Banana peels become darker while bread slice got green things on them. They are cold molds. Paper, waste can, change too. Some become torn while some become crumpled. Making generalization and abstraction. Here are the summary of what happens to trash materials. Most trash becomes wet, dirty, and smelly. Paper can get torn and crumpled. Plastic can get bent or crumpled. Food becomes smelly, gets molds and spoils. Metal can get rusty. Glass can get broken into smaller pieces. For evaluation, Mina is collecting the trash from her household for the garbage collection this weekend. Describe the changes that occurred in each material after they were thrown away. Here are the answers. For remediation, go through a trash bin in your home and find five things your family has thrown away. Describe what changes have happened to the materials. Great job today everyone! You listened well, shared your thoughts, and work hard. Keep up the good work. Always remember to read, learn, observe, and have fun. See you next time!